What's going on Team Fresh? Welcome back to a new American Truck Simulator video. Today is a special day because we're going to be transporting one of the most expensive cargoes ever. And that is actually a house construction. It weighs about 44,000 pounds. We do have media presence over there. Uh, we're going to have an escort. A couple of escort vehicles actually. One in front, one in the back. But let me go ahead and show you guys. I'm still waiting for the mouse so I can show you guys the full uh, rotation. But yeah, on the left hand side, you guys see the two the two escort vehicles. <laughs> we have a news media van over there. And uh, yeah, this um, this delivery is going to be quite massive. But anyway, let me go ahead and start up the truck. We're going to turn on the lights. It is 5 o'clock in the morning. Yes, 5.14 a.m. right now. And we should be arriving at about um, 2.35 p.m. at our destination. It's a nine-hour long drive, so it's going to be pretty exciting. I've never driven with the convoy, so I don't know what to expect. I think I could just uh, get things going, and then things will just sort out. I was reading instructions on how to drive with the convoy, and apparently you can go through red lights. I didn't even know that. That is so cool. Well, man, if you look in the mirrors, that thing is poking out quite a bit. Uh, I don't know. Honestly, this is going to be tricky um, to transport. Oh, there we go. We got a convoy vehicle in front of us. Okay, so that's easy. There's going to be one in front of us and one escort vehicle behind us. That's how it's going to work. I don't know if we're going to get into any accidents today. Here we go. We have police presence as well. Look, they blocked off every intersection. I guess uh, we can go left now. All right, is that gonna be... Is he gonna be behind us or in front of us? I don't know, but I'm gonna go because we are creating a traffic jam over here. Dude, I'm really excited about this uh, today's episode. Is the police officer going to be part of the convoy? I'm not quite sure really don't know and actually I can't see what's going on behind me now because this this giant house is really just sticking up all like by a mile see we can go through red lights look at this look at this we can break all kinds of uh, traffic rules today <laughs> oh my gosh we are allowed to go through red lights all right so, we're driving this um, house construction that weighs about 44,000 pounds. We are leaving Socorro, New Mexico, which we just discovered in uh, the previous video. And we are heading to uh, Tucson, Arizona. And I think we need to, yeah, we need to take a ride over here. Dude, this thing sounds pretty good. All right, I need to take this extra wide. Yes, and so far so good. All right. <laughs> yeah, I need to be mindful of like hitting sides like this one on the right hand side because it's gonna it's gonna be close. Like, look at it. Yeah. All right, I chose to do this transport early in the morning. Because hopefully we're gonna be a lot of traffic, but I mean We're probably gonna Hit rush hour traffic uh, later on dude. This is exciting. All right. We have another police officer blocking the intersection there This is cool. I haven't gotten this kind of treatment uh, here in this game But yeah, I guess the police officer is gonna be the front escort and then we, we have another escort behind us as well. So I'm really pumped. Okay, can we actually do... Obviously, I'm not allowed to pass the front vehicle. Okay, we're going straight. 
there's a lot that this is one of the most expensive high, higher paying job that I have yet to do this one will actually pay us twenty two thousand dollars it's the most that I have ever made doing any delivery in this game so I don't want to screw it up <laughs> that's what I'm getting at here I don't want to hit the, the vehicle in front of us I don't want to be speeding uh, you know you know the fact that we can go through red lights I mean that's a bonus okay so this whole journey is gonna be non-stop all right let's do a third person point of view here crazy this is crazy dude this thing is poking out into like the oncoming lane like I guess uh, right now I could probably go more to the right and hug the uh, the shoulder but there could be a sign there could be a traffic light or even sometimes a house so I just need to be extra careful today dude look at this yep we have a vehicle behind us too okay 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 I need to pay attention Oh my gosh, dude! I thought the police officer was gonna get to a head-on collision with that vehicle, dude. Now he's just trying to make sure that everybody just kind of moves over and gives us like extra space. Wow, dude! I, I'm, I'm excited. It's a 40 mile an hour zone, and we're doing 42 miles an hour. Uh, but I'm just following him, so right? If he does 42, I can do 42. Can you guys imagine if he just issues me a citation? <laughs> Even though he's part of this convoy, essentially. I don't know, man. I don't know. Forgot to adjust my seating position before I started recording this, so... Can't really see this mirror, but it's okay. I'll try and uh, I'm still kind of getting used to this game, so I'll try and uh, do that moving forward. But it was like late at night. Well, I guess early in the morning when we started, it was dark, and now it's uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a good day. Anyway, we're driving an international LT truck with 565 horsepower and an 18-speed manual transmission. All right, let me move over. I think there's an oncoming vehicle. I don't know. Something's going on over there. Huh. All right, do we stop at a railroad crossing? I don't think so because, yes, we're going to go right through. They're waving us on. This is perfect. This is cool. Yeah, I think it would be more of a danger for us to stop there and then start moving and then a train comes through and just plows through the, somebody's house. We're literally transporting somebody's house. Okay, so I don't want to mess that up. This is somebody's dream right there. Somebody's dream house. Even has like an air conditioning unit. Already built in and everything. It's kind of cool. I think, um, I think we're going to be avoiding highways. I mean, it makes sense, right? What's over here? Huh. It makes... Oh, here we go. Yep, 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 yep. Move over. Move over. Oh my gosh, dude. A police officer is like really swerving into the oncoming lane when somebody's coming. Like, I get why, but it's just like if you were in that car, it would be really frightening if you're just driving and all of a sudden this guy's like swerving into you. Yeah. Whew. Guys, let me know in the comment section down below, what's your favorite truck? I mean, we've driven a bunch. We've driven a bunch of international trucks, uh, Kenworth trucks, Peterbilt trucks. Yeah, I'm not poking out over the double yellow. Yeah, we've driven a bunch of trucks. I feel like Peterbilt is like one of the more popular trucks. And I think so far, out of everything that I've driven, I like the Peterbilt 389. That was so awesome. The fact that it has a 10-speed manual transmission. It's not the, it doesn't have like the most powerful engine, but it sounds so good. 
I really enjoyed driving that truck and I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to discovering more trucks. So yeah, um, I know a lot of you guys are saying, Iggy, Iggy, buy your own truck. I just don't know what to buy yet. I want to drive literally like every single truck in the game and see what I like. Like, uh, I was just driving the Kenworth W900 because I thought it would be kind of close to what Peterbilt 389 would be. And no, like I was disappointed. I think it also had the 10-speed manual transmission but with a little more horsepower. I think it was like closer to 500. Uh, but uh, I just didn't enjoy driving it. Like the sounds weren't as good. Jake braking wasn't as pronounced. And uh, yeah. And actually during that delivery, I did stop at a railroad road cr crossing and uh, we had a train come through. It was cool. It was cool to witness that. It was late at night, that's why I didn't record it. So, kind of trying to do a lot of these episodes during the days just so we can admire the uh, the scenery and everything. Dude, it's like... We have... Oh, crap. We're slowing down. Why? Wow, cool. Another police officer. Um... Why did we, like, slow down? I thought we had to make a turn. Sometimes I do that. I just start rambling on without looking at the GPS, and all of a sudden I have to take a turn, and I have to slam on the brakes. So, yeah, we don't need to worry about gas stations. We have a full tank of gas. Dude, I feel like everyone's, like, watching us today. It's, like, a newsworthy event. <laughs> I don't understand why. Like, I, I mean, I've seen houses like this one being trans transported. Like, it's not, you know, something new. Okay. All right, careful. I think we're good. Yes. Yeah, it's not something new. It's not something out of this world. I don't know why there's so much media attention. Maybe somebody famous bought this house and, uh... That's why people are excited. Alright, buddy, can we go a little faster than 40 miles an hour? Come on. I know you have a fast cruiser. Fast Crown Vic. I kind of like this uh, international LT truck. It's a sleeper, too, so you can uh, sleep in the back. It's really, really cool. It sounds nice. I like Jake braking and the exhaust sounds here. All sound phenomenal. But I am a little disappointed. I thought we would take the highway, but now it makes sense, man. I feel like we're gonna take like a bunch of back roads. Dude, there was a hot air balloon. You guys see it? Hold on, let me pass this intersection first. Hello, people. Wow. I feel so special today. But yeah, hot air balloon. Right over there. Right over there. Watch me crash. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, Mini Cooper. Nice. Hot air balloon. Nice. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed. I wanted to take the... Whoa! Bro, 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 what if they collide? Like, what do I do, right? If my es front escort vehicle gets totaled, like, I don't know, man. I saw a lot of warnings before I began, like, this mission. It said that you could fail for a number of reasons, like crashing or taking, like, a different routes or even pulling over at a gas station. But I don't think we'll have to do that today because we have a full tank of gas. But we're losing them or whatever, crashing into them. So, yeah. I just, I don't want to screw it up. I want to pass this mission. First try. I want to get my $22,000. Biggest payout ever. Oh my gosh. 
It's so sketchy every time he does that. All right, is that New Mexico State Police? I mean, that would make sense because we're leaving New Mexico. But we are going to... Bro, 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 bro. We are going to uh, Arizona. So do they have jurisdiction in Arizona? I don't think so, but I guess it is what it is. Did we see a sign for Arizona yet? I don't know. Wow, look at that plane. Dude, this is so exciting. Uh, did we do the wait station? That's gonna be interesting. I think we probably get to bypass everything. Well, I guess if he takes a right, I'll follow him. Oh, that plane though. But we probably get to bypass that today. Yep. Just as I thought, rules don't apply to us today. All right, so I just took a moment to take a quick screenshot for you guys for the thumbnail. The thing came out awesome. But let's continue with our journey. Five hours left to go. Well, five and a half hours. So far, we're doing good. But yeah, I don't think we're gonna take this out on the highway, unfortunately. It kind of makes sense because the house is bulky. It's not good for aero, aerodynamics or anything like that. Um, obviously, can't go fast with it. So I don't think we'll get this thing up to 18th gear, but it's okay. The one thing I don't understand is why the speed limit in the middle of nowhere on the road that's mostly straight, okay, doesn't have like harsh turns or anything like that, doesn't have too many intersections, and it's 40 miles an hour. Like, why isn't this at least a 55? But that's the problem with some of the roads here in America. Speed limits are, yeah, I don't know, a little, a little too low. Like, I want to go faster. All right, where are we? Is this Arizona? What, what does that say? No, it's a national forest. Okay. Interesting. But I like the scenery changes. Like, you know you're pulling into Arizona now. We got the Rockies, uh, Rocky Mountains everywhere. Rocky Mountains? Am I saying this right? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you, you definitely can tell the scenery is changing. I think we're pulling into Arizona now. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a Welcome to Arizona uh, poster welcoming sign. But who knows? We got a traffic light coming up. It's red, which we could go through red. But there's a couple of vehicles over there. So it's probably not going to happen. All right. There we go. Driving through one of the towns, I guess it's called Show Low. Show Low, really? Interesting. Another officer here. I just imagine how many police officers were paid to like participate in this and make sure that our journey is safe and sound. I don't know. We got a Tesla dealership on the right hand side. I guess they're having a sale, it says. A bunch of vehicles there. We have Dodge vehicles too? Not just Teslas? That's a little bit weird. Wow, that one is trashed. That vehicle is destroyed. Whoa, must have been in a crazy, crazy uh, car accident. I just love driving through some of these cities, towns, and just like discover new things. It's just awesome. I don't know what that was. 
some kind of a fast food restaurant. We got the ice cream truck. Looks very close to the one in GTA 5, actually. Very close. Very interesting. I don't think anyone's passing us today because I'm going to make sure I don't hit any of these poles on the right hand side. They're on the sidewalk. They're coming in very close to the house. So I think we'll kind of have to take up two lanes here. I'm sure the people behind me are pissed. Like, they. <laughs> did you guys see the guy wearing a hot dog suit? Is this a hot dog stand or something? Wow, that's something I've never seen before in this game. We got McDonald's as well. Wow. But yeah, like as I was saying, I don't think anyone's passing me today. Oh, man. I thought this was going to be a stressful delivery, but it's turning out to be even more re relaxed than usual. I think we got these lanes merging. More relaxed delivery than I was anticipating. Because of the escort vehicles. All I have to do is just follow their lead. Do you guys like longer videos? Let me know in the comment section down below. When I used to do a lot of GTA 5 videos, uh, I tried keeping them around 10 minutes and I know some of you guys wanted longer videos, but look at this now. I mean, we're doing like, you know, 30 minute videos almost. This one's going to be probably even longer because of like the trip and you know, we're not even taking the highways, so let me know in the comment section down below. Do you guys like longer videos like this one here? It's quite nice. I just like this game for the scenery. You know? I like driving through, you know, the little small towns, big cities, and also like in the middle of nowhere, like the countryside, like right now. So, just discovering America. <laughs> for now, for now it's America, and then later maybe we'll get the European truck simulator and discover Europe. In the meantime, this guy is slowing down, the state police officer. I should have known, should have known, the state police is not going to be exceeding the speed limit over here. Okay, 65, right? What? I thought I saw, like, sometimes trucks, they have a different speed limit. Like, it'll say 65 for, you know, regular compact vehicles, and then maybe 40 for trucks. <laughs> so, I wonder if we are just restricted to 40 miles an hour the whole way because of the special cargo. I don't quite know. I'm still learning all of this, guys. Look at the sight right here. It's like, whoa, oh my gosh. <laughs> I need to be careful. I was gonna say it's like a house driving on the road. So crazy. Wonder how many bedrooms it has. I mean, it's not a huge house. Maybe a single bedroom, I would probably think. Maybe a small kitchen and like a living room. In the bathroom, I hope. <laughs> yeah, interesting. All right, the scenery is changing over here. Oh, the canyon! Did you guys see the sign? We might see one of the canyons here. I like the twisty roads. Very nice. Look around us. It's looking amazing. Should really watch where I'm going now. But, dude. Oh, yeah, we have to go that way. See it like it loops around the road? And we're gonna be on the other side very shortly. Okay. And I think that's the 
pull over stop for the bikers and the truckers. I mean, I'd stop here and enjoy the scenery too if I didn't have a police officer escorting me. Dude, it's nice. We're good? Yep. Okay. Dude, <laughs> even this view is so tough. It's me telling the officer to hurry up and go faster. I'm just kidding. He's like really slowing down for some reason. Some odd reason. Yes, I'm good on gas, officer. Don't worry, just keep on driving. We got three hours left to go, and we still have pretty much a full tank. I think there's an option in the like in the settings where you can set the uh, the fuel to be uh, the fuel usage to be more realistic. I wonder if that's what I should do. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you're playing this game or you're watching some other YouTubers play this game, does their gas decrease like exponentially like higher than mine? I don't know. If so, maybe I should activate that section. Dude, that's a cool rest area. We got RVs over there too, people chill. Huh. Yeah, because I feel like a lot of times I don't have to fill up. But then again, if I buy my own truck, I'm sure I would have to. Because right now, I'm just, you know, typically the companies provide me with their own trucks. And the trucks are filled with gas, so I don't typically have to worry about it. And even if, when I do fill up the truck, I don't pay for it. The company pays for it. So, it's a win-win. Alright, I'm just gonna take up two lanes here because the guardrail is a little too close to the road for my comfort. And this is not my house back there, so... Don't want to destroy it. Good thing we don't have any traffic going the other way because I am poking out quite a bit. Oh, that is because we have a police officer here, I think. Perfect. Alright! Let's step on it, officer. Let's get to 40 miles an hour. <laughs> oh my goodness, Bud Light. A beer right now, but uh, yeah, I think it's safe to say that we are in Arizona now, and we are delivering this this house. I mean, it's relatively small to like one of the bigger cities, Tucson, Arizona. So I'm kind of uh, I don't know, I don't know what to think about that. We're gonna go through the red light. Don't worry. Why is that bus moving? Shouldn't be. Changing lane maneuver is coming. Okay. I think that's pretty easy. All I have to do is just move this way. I feel like we've done that before. We have to take this right. Okay. Go, 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 go. Take this wide. Okay. Alright, so far so good. I haven't failed yet. Can you guys imagine if I fail all, like towards the end? We have 75 miles to go, according to that sign. But yeah, back to my original point. That's like... Like, <laughs> where am I delivering this to? Is this going to be downtown Tucson? Or is it going to be like on the outskirts? I would hope. 
I guess we'll see. Dude, the views, though. Pretty nice. I can't wait until the developer just, you know, builds out the rest of the states and has, like, true American truck simulator so you can drive through all of these states. And then you could do, like, cross-country trips, you know, California to maybe, I don't know, like, New York or Massachusetts. Oh, I am speeding. We just hit 45 in the 40. <laughs> and then, also, America is a continent, right? I'm sure a lot of you guys know that. Um, so, do we add Canada? Maybe Mexico? I don't know. And then there's North America, there's South America to be, you know, for the developers to truly call this American Truck Simulator. I think they would eventually have to add all of the, you know, the two continents, you know, North and South America. That would be a lot of work. I mean, it's taking them a lot. It's taken them like years to add different states of just one country within just one part of the continent. <laughs> so you can only imagine. Um, but yeah, Canada would be cool. And Mexico. Like, you know, take it step by step and then expand it. I wonder, would I get a citation if I just hit 46 miles an hour for just like a split second behind them? I don't know. I kind of want to see him <laughs> collide with oncoming traffic. I think it would be funny. Not in real life, but in the video game. Is that another Bud Light? No, what is that? Something else. Alright guys, so I think we are kind of getting closer. About an hour and a half left to go. As I said before, this is not like real time. You know, time moves quicker in the game. But our arrival time has now moved, shifted to 4 o'clock, 4.06 p.m. I think it was like 2 something when we first started this mission. So we're definitely falling behind, but not because of me. It's because of this officer. He's taking his sweet time. I want to go faster, but I'm stuck to 40 miles an hour. But I'm not complaining too much because we have these beautiful views here. But yeah, let me know your suggestions for our future truck purchase in the comment section down below. Because right now I'm leaning towards uh, Peterbilt trucks, I think. 389. And then I think there, there's a truck that I, I don't think, honestly, at the level I'm at right now, I don't think I've unlocked every single truck in the game. I think there's more things to unlock because I have seen people use different trucks that are not modded, that are a part of the game normally, that I don't quite possess yet, haven't even seen yet. So, yeah. I definitely want to try them all out before I settle down and make my first purchase. And the good thing about it is that, you know, we'll have all the money in the world to buy the truck, buy the trailer, customize the truck and the trailer. So, once we're ready to make that first purchase, it's gonna be exciting. I'm thinking I'm gonna do one episode where I just 
customize the truck because there's so many different things that you can customize from what I've seen from like, like the interior cabin you can see a steering wheel you can see dashboard uh, items you could do you can even add like passengers <laughs> like your girlfriend or a dog so yeah and then wheels and tires and paint jobs and all kinds of stuff so I think it's gonna it's gonna be a an episode of its own all right here we go come on come on come on let's go let's go let's go Wow we are going on the highway according to the GPS maybe for a little short while we'll We'll go on the highway. Let's see, what is this? Uh, uh, 10. All right. Junction 10. So maybe we'll do faster than 40 miles an hour. I guess we'll see, we'll see. I feel like I'm just limited to 40. Ten east towards El Paso. Let's take this a little wide. I think we're good, yeah. Wow, did they block off the highway for us? I don't know. I guess we're gonna be changing lanes. That's fine. Okay, now it's my turn. Okay. This is a two-lane highway, so I'm, I kind of feel bad for people. I don't think they're going to be able to pass me at all. And yes, we are stuck at 40 miles an hour. There's another officer blocking off the on-ramp over there. I don't quite know why. Yeah, the speed limit here is 65. And, uh, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. something going on here? <laughs> Who are these people? Why are they so happy? He was like waving his hands at first. Alright guys, I think we are super close. Only 15 minutes away. I'm excited to see where we're going to be dropping this off. Hopefully it's not going to be a really hard, like, parking situation. Oh gosh. We're going to be merging lanes once again. Alright. Hmm. Can we even fit through here? It seems a little tight. Wow. We made it. Alright. I feel like we're super close. Stop signs don't matter. Nothing matters to us here. Taking this really wide. I think we're good. Yep. All right. Oh, so I am dropping this off in the parking lot. I thought I would need to drop this off somewhere else. No trains coming? Perfect. I thought maybe somebody bought a, you know, a property and then we have to transport this thing there. Alright, looks like we're going right and um, this officer is done. Thank you very much, officer! Thank you for escorting me. Wow. I just feel so special. A little speed bump over here. Oh, this is going to be the easiest parking job ever. I just pull right in. Here we go. Hey, buddy, what's up? Wow. Okay. Well, they know me. They know I can't park. 
So they're like, just leave it here. <laughs> oh man, this is this is excellent. This is too funny. All right, here we go. Are we good? Can't quite see much. Here we go. I think we need to pull up a little more. There we go. Cargo is ready for unloading. We are effectively done here. Let's collect our money and yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna end today's episode right here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you guys know what to do. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.